वेलकम बैक नाउ दैट वी हैव कवर्ड वाई यू शुड यूज खान अकेडमी इन यूर क्लास रूम आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट बी एक्साइटेड टू नो विच सब्जेक्ट्स कोर्सेस और करिकुलम आर अवेलेबल एट खान अकेडमी इन इंडिया आवर फोकस इज ऑन मैथ एंड साइंस दीज सब्जेक्ट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू बिल्ड लॉजिकल रीजनिंग क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग एंड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स अमंग अवर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर what content is available on khan academy its alignment to the state or ncert curriculum and how our content is structured on our platform as we shared in our previous videos khan academy is a mastery based platform at khan academy we do not want you to worry if the content and its sequence are relevant to the textbook that you and your students are using so apart from having world class content we make sure it is aligned and mapped to your state or ncert curriculum we focus on math and science for grades kg to 12th grades you can go to khanacademy.org and click on courses on the top left to see all our courses in india Our content is available in English and in multiple Indian languages including Punjabi, Marathi and Hindi. We have math for classes 1 to 12 and science for classes 9 to 12 available in English. Additionally, we have foundation courses for grades 6 to 10. Suppose you are teaching math for grade 6. At the beginning of the year, if you see some students struggling with the basics from previous classes, you could have them go through the 6th grade foundation course foundation course content can be used as material for remediation to get the students ready for their current grades what's important for you to note is that all our math content on our english and hindi websites is mapped to the ncert curriculum all our content in punjabi and marathi is mapped to the state curriculum Now let's look at what each course contains. Let's take class 6 math as an example. Once you are in class 6 math, on the left side you can see that the course has been divided into different units. This is similar to the way the index page of the textbook includes the names of the chapters. So for class 6, we have a unit on whole numbers, playing with numbers and much more. You can also see mastery points. We will talk about this in detail in our advanced course. If we scroll down to the bottom of the page of this course, we will find a course challenge. It has 30 questions from 30 randomly selected exercises in the course. It helps us to understand the progress our students have made by the end of an academic year. It is similar to a final test. Overall for this course, You can see the different topics or lessons that are covered under each unit. For instance, the unit on whole numbers has different lessons. This page will give you a broad overview of the different units and lessons that the course contains. When you click on the topic of associative property, you will see that it comprises two things: bite-sized instructional videos that can be used to understand the concept and practice exercises to master the lesson. You will also find two additional things: quiz and unit test. Quizzes essentially combine practice questions from all topics that have been studied prior to the quiz. There are typically five to seven questions in a quiz. Unit tests are designed to check for a student's understanding of the entire unit. Typically, a unit test comprises nine to eleven questions from all the topics covered in the unit. Now that we have looked at what is available at Khan Academy I urge you to apply what you have learned so here is the task for you whichever class you teach find your course and explore the videos and exercises as a learner just to get a hang of it so if i am teaching 5th grade math then my task is to find a grade 5 math course and explore the videos and exercises just like how your students would do it you could also ask your family members or ask the children in your family to try it out